Once you finish the story reel, it's time to start the animation for real. So let's get the supplies together. We made a handy shopping list for you, so please download it in the links below. It'll make this video a lot easier to play along with. For simplicity's sake, we're going to make a cut paper animation together, but you can use clay, Legos, fruit, whatever. If you are looking to use something different from cut paper, please click on the link below to download our curriculum. It offers some great tips. So with all of your supplies in hand, we start by getting organized. The first step is by creating a list of everything you need to create, an asset list. It's good to know that if you only have an hour to make your props, backgrounds, and characters, and you have 30 pieces total to make, you can only spend two minutes on each of them. So here's mine. As you can see, I got pretty specific about all the objects. Now, this was an incredibly simple story reel, and unfortunately, not all of them are this simple. Here's a few things to keep in mind if you want more complicated. If you have a face moving through a series of expressions, you can accomplish this two ways. One way is to make the places on the head separate from the head itself. On this head, the eyebrows and mouth are different objects, and when I want to animate it from happy to sad, I, I move each of the pieces separately, frame by frame, giving me a lot of flexibility. The other approach is to just swap out the entire head. For the same example, I'd do it this way. So one of the asset lists would look like this, while the other one would look like this. If you have a character with a hand, I suggest making the hand a circle. And if you need to swap it out to a different position, like pointing, just swap in another hand. So go through your split script and write out your list. Do your best to write in absolutely everything. It will save you time from having to make something while you're in the middle of animating. Most videos will have assets like backgrounds, characters, and objects. Ask yourself, what needs to be able to move? Will any knees need to bend? If so, you need the leg in two parts. Do any eyes blink? If so, you need the eyes in two states, open and closed. Do any hats fly off? Then you need to make the hat separate from the head. You get it. Don't forget something for the background, even if it's just a red piece of paper. Otherwise, you're defaulting to your kitchen table, which is a poor art choice. Now that your asset list is ready, let's get started actually making the assets. So get your construction paper, get your X-Acto knife, get your scissors, whatever you need, look at the shopping list, and let's get started in the next video.